right, Muhammad. Hey, congratulations for a day to die. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I mean, it's 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 been it's been out for just a little while here. I mean, um, you're probably getting a lot of feedback uh, from uh, from folks that uh, you talked to already, right? Oh man, I'm I'm, I'm so glad. I'm uh, I'm really happy with all this uh, great feedback. Uh, a lot of positive uh, feedback I'm getting. Uh, from the press, uh, from uh, filmmakers uh, here in Hollywood, so I'm pretty excited. Uh, um, honestly, when you when you have a film or something, you work on a project, you don't really uh, what, what basically what you do is just focusing on your work and you know the the role and your film, and you're not you know you wish for the best, right? But you know it feels so great when you when you finish the film and also. Um, you know, people like it and say good stuff about it. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy. So what initially brought you uh, to a project like this? What drew you in? Um, you know, uh, I think uh, it's all, uh, you know, living here in, in, in Los Angeles and what you do is your 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 bread and butter is, you know, doing auditions and working and all that. And um, it's, it's, it's really cool when you finally can land, uh, a role and, and, and a project that you, you really feel related to. Um, I honestly, um, love the fact, uh, that I, you know, uh, I'm doing one of the leads as Reynolds, uh, Reynolds sort of like relates to me in a lot of different aspects in terms of like the character, uh, he's that one, uh, um, he wants to implement law. He wants to do the right thing. He always wanted to. Uh, he doesn't fear nothing. He doesn't care if this is going to backlash him or sort of like put him in trouble with his like superiors or like his bosses, or whatever, as long as he's doing the right thing. And I think he had a really important message, which was like, if you have something uh, you believe in or you got feelings to telling you something, you just go for it. And that's what exactly Reynolds was doing is as a detective and he was reporting to his uh, uh, chief of police boss um, um, uh, Bruce Willis uh, he didn't feel uh, that he felt that something is off something is not right and every time he gets somebody under his custody he either get kidnapped or <laughs> you know disappeared or killed or whatever so he like he's he started like doing uh, investigation and stuff in order to reach uh, what exactly is going on and nobody ever I believe what he's saying, but he always wanted to reach the end of it and he didn't care. And that's really great message is that when you believe in something, just go all, all in until, you know, you know, you, you make your point, which is basically what we're doing here in Hollywood. You know, you go all <laughs> in, you know, wishing for the best, man. I was, I was going to say Reynolds, Reynolds play a very pivotal uh, part of a, of this film that I'm not going to reveal. So <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad. Let's just put it there, so no spoilers. Let's put the, let's just say uh, I was able to bring down the big dog. <laughs> <laughs> did did you have to uh, do any preparations uh, for this role, playing a detective, uh, playing a cop? Uh, I'm not sure if you played uh, this type of role before. Um, actually, yeah, I had to. Um, See, I, I come from like a medical background. I'm a doctor originally uh, before I became an actor. So I kind of like sort of like one of these guys, like you want to make sure like every time I'm watching a show, I get really pissed off. If there's like a doctor, he's not doing the right thing or like in a hospital, that doesn't, you know, happen in the hospital. Like all these little things, I start getting picky, you know. Um, so I like I, I put myself in, in, in other people's shoes, you know, like I if there was a, a, a cop or like a detective or something. Uh, I need to make sure that whoever is watching the film, uh, if whoever, you know, sitting on the couch or at the theaters, whatever, uh, I want to make sure that if, if that's your job, I'm, I'm doing it as much as possible the right way of doing it. So I had to discuss it a lot. I had to brainstorm a lot. I had to work it with, with my director, as well, who was really helpful. And um, I think they did an amazing job, you know, in terms of uh, putting it together as well. Um, my... Uh, great uh, sort of like excitement was the action scenes in there. And I wanted to make sure beside that the scenes uh, come out really well is to make sure that this is the right way of doing it as, as a cop or a detective. So I think um, we had really uh, professional people in on set 
we had like ex-military people, Eric and his wife, they were doing great, man. Like uh, in terms of like safety, priority was number one, you know, safety and also like training wise and stuff. So I think uh, came out really well. I, I, I loved it. And especially the action scenes, you know, I didn't really realize like until we, we, we flew to Jackson, Mississippi, that they literally blocked down the whole city, like the whole downtown. Imagine like they evacuated everybody uh, because it was safety. Of course, we have like the fire department, we have, like the ambulances, we have like the cut, the real cups were around. It was really funny. It was like we were talking to each other, like, <laughs> you know, so you're real. I'm real in the movie. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of a fun, fun moment. And uh, the fact that we get to do all these real scenes, like it's not, it's not BS. It's, it's, it's true. Like all the explosions in the film, all the, uh, 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 you know, blowing up cars and, and all these uh, uh, shooting and stuff, these were really actual sort of explosions. And the blowing up cars, that, that was a really uh, true sort of moment. We, it's not like uh, sort of like post-production stuff. I know. I, I, I spoke to uh, Wes, uh, Wes a couple weeks ago, and I had to commend. Uh, I, I know exactly which scene you're talking about because I, I told him it was like try, trying to describe uh, – something similar to heat <laughs> in, yeah. in its own way yeah. yeah yeah and the helicopter thing you know i i think i think the whole uh action scenes uh, came out really good um and i i'm i'm, I'm confident to tell you like this is one of the the best sort of uh, bruce willis films in the past few years to be honest um the fact that we have great you know cast is is a very big plus in film um, I think I have a privilege in, in this feature is because I get to have uh, all my scenes with Bruce, opposite Bruce, which was a pretty cool thing, you know. Um, I love this guy, Bruce Willis. He's such a great actor, really down to earth. Um, so uh, so calm and uh, really nice guy. I really enjoyed working with him, especially in between like the scenes and stuff. It was really cool and nice. I, I was, I was going to say... I, I want to say that all your scenes was practically with with Bruce. Yeah, yeah lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what kind of conversations does one have with Bruce when the camera's off? Anyways, can can, can you even converse with this guy? I mean, he he's fun. a mega superstar. <laughs> fun, he's fun. Let me tell you, really calm, really cool. Like in between scenes, you like you know start you know talking. Uh, I, you know, I talked about Egypt. That's where, you know, uh, originally from. And he was uh, really nice and uh, he, he wanted to go and all that. And uh, like people were really excited in Mississippi. Like they were like, oh my God, like we're, you know, I'm hanging out with Bruce Willis in, in the middle of the intersection in downtown. You're having a coffee and you're having a good time, you know, and, and, and talk. And I, I think that's what really true star is, you know, like to, you know, j just to be casual and be the normal who you are you know what i mean like and i think uh i i learned a lot from him in this particular movie in terms of like getting really focused as well uh you can't have your your side conversation you have that fun and everything between scenes once it's in and you're in man like i and i that the, 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 like no seconds i can see bruce like shifting into alston all of a sudden you know what i mean like he's really pro I really enjoyed working with them, and as he, as you said, like all my scenes is is with you know a lot of scenes with with Bruce in the film that that kind of like uh, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> well, it, so it sounds like he's very approachable. At, le at least you get you get to tick that off your uh, bu bucket list that you uh, you you start alongside with Bruce Willis. <laughs> oh, hundred percent! Oh, hundred percent! I'm just glad that I'm doing my, you know, what, what I love here, you know, in, in Hollywood, man. Um, it's pretty hard to find a project that you can really play a character that you really feel like so, uh, uh, you know, sort of like um, uh, close to you. Um, I think I'm less that so far, um, you know, back to back films that I did here in Hollywood. Uh, it wasn't a stereotype roles at all. Like I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm really lucky to work um, and have a character just like a, a normal character. Because uh, I believe if you're a good actor and you're right for the role, you're right for the role. It doesn't matter where, you know, how do you look like or where your religion is from or where your culture is from. Or, you know what I mean? 
And I kind of respect that and, and, and really pro that in terms of like not going stereotype sort of cast stereotype roles. So I, I think I'm lucky to get to play, you know, a detective, you know, uh, playing a good guy, you know, um, implementing law, bringing down the bad guys. Um, because I think throughout the years, we always seen like, you know, you, you have to play the bad guy or you get killed or, you know, do this or do that or like being, you know, the the gangster or like the the mafia guy or like he, the the terrorist guy all that and I think there are just a lot of really good roles that you can perform and do rather than being stereotype cast. Do do you feel you get uh, these type of a stereotype uh, roles being offered or or do you basically kind of brush them off the side and look for roles like like what you got here on Reynolds? Uh, on a day to die, I tried as much as possible to stay away from uh, those stereotype roles, just because I, I think they're. Um, I think it's not right. Like the the fact that it doesn't doesn't mean like you're from Europe, you have to be a mafia, or like you're Hispanic that you have to be like you know drug dealer, just like we see, you know, like uh, or Middle Eastern, like it's like people are fed up. From, from this, I think. And right now, Hollywood has started to open up a little bit more for diversity. And I think it's time to do that right now. Um, I tried as much as possible to um, to do the right thing or, you know, to to say, hey, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I believe I'm a good actor. I can perform really well. I can do, you know, different sort of genres. I can do different roles. Um, and I think so far, I kind of make my point within the past couple of films. Um, and I really wish uh, Hollywood opened up more for that because I see a lot of really good talents, man. They're not just getting their chance. And I think if, if you give them a chance, they're going to nail the role. Mm -hmm. uh, so open up a little bit, you know, it doesn't have to be stereotype. And I, I just, you know, I respect everybody's you know, beliefs and everybody's, you know, culture and everything. And I think it's, uh, they, they, they've seen enough you know, for, for years and years, tens of years, right? Um, I think it's time to for them to live like a normal people, man. Just, you know, present the culture as it is, as beautiful as it is, you know? You don't have to bring them like crazy people. Um, if, the, the, like, if, if the drama talks about different things or like, if, it's, if it's really important to show certain aspect or something, um, maybe, you know, uh, but... It, I, I'm just like I think that a lot of things out there we can talk about, you know, you know, rather than just being stereotyped. Now, I, you brought it up, and I, ha I, I have to know how did you move from being a doctor to being an actor? I mean, being a doctor is hard, but being an actor is also pretty hard. <laughs> that was really tough. Let me tell you, it wasn't an easy ride at all. You know. The problem here is I love being doctor and I extremely love being an actor. So it's not like somebody forced me to be a doctor, got a medical school. Yes, my parents are doctors, my whole family are doctors, but you know, I wanted to be a doctor. Nobody forced me to be a doctor. But at the end of the day, I want to do something that I'm really, really passionate about. Like I really believe it. Like I you feel like so much you really in love going to this place, which is my the studio or the shooting set. This is for me. Uh, somebody else would be love going to a court, being a lawyer, you know, uh, or going to uh, uh, the hospital, being a doctor. I think I reached to a point that this is what I love. It's just like I had to take huge risk and take the decision, which wasn't hard. Was it? Was it? Was really hard. Wasn't easy. And it didn't come all of a sudden. Like it, it, it went through a lot of years to, you know, first of all, it's pretty hard to, you know, make a living in Hollywood and to be dependent. You know what I mean? Like you, I think it's a, the smart way of doing it is to as much as possible to be sort of like, um, uh, how do I say it? Like to be, uh, to, to can be able to support yourself, right? Uh, because it takes a lot of time. Uh, it takes a lot of years. It takes a lot of determination and you need to give up a lot of things. So that costs a lot of money. You know, living is pretty hard. Uh, so you need to be, you know, 
two things you need to focus on, you know, why you want to do your, your thing, being an actor or artist in general. You need to be uh, be able to find out, you know, financially to be support, you know, support yourself, and also uh, always support yourself with whatever kind of education you can possibly get. You know, because you don't know what's going to happen. It's always, and I knew this from day day one that it's it's huge risk, but I was willing to to take that risk. So when I when I was doing, you know, going to medical school at the same time I was doing acting. Um, I reached to a point like I have to do both in certain time until sort of like it became sort of like the right moment for me to say, okay, I have to focus now more into what I love, which is acting. And you just feel it's the right time and you just go for it. Wow. So would you cringe if Hollywood offered you a doctor role <laughs> or you would uh, embrace that? Dude, I would love to do that. You know why? Because I will know exactly what I've been doing. You know, like I know exactly how it works. And I know like I would definitely be big plus for them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It will be really great to to do it and to tell them, listen, this is the right way of doing it. You know, it's it's great that you you mentioned that because a lot of time you 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 actually watch a lot of shows and you don't see any sort of like Middle Eastern. Uh, doctor in there, which makes a lot of sense. If you walk in any hospital anywhere, <laughs> definitely you will see the Middle East, uh, Middle East aspect in there. Uh, you see Asian, you see Indian, you see uh, uh, Asian, you see African Americans. Um, also, there are like thousands of Middle Easterns here uh, who are doctors because this is how we grew up. Like thinking you have, like our parents, like the only thing like you have to be a doctor or engineer. I don't know why engineer, but you have to be like doctor engineer for some reason. And I think this Asian culture as well. Um, so I think would make a lot of sense uh, if I get to do one of those roles for sure. <laughs> did Did you uh, start your acting in in Hollywood, or you started your acting in, in Egypt? Um, for Egypt, your in Egypt, I started doing. You know, while I was medical school student in Egypt, that's where I graduated from. I started doing my acting gigs. You know, like I started doing. Um, uh, TV series, films, and then, you know, in, in I think in that pretty short time, I started doing lead, leading roles in, in films and TV. And then uh, until I did, uh, I hosted one of the biggest shows, uh, which is The Voice, the, you know, The Voice Arabia over there. Uh, but I always w wanted to focus on, you know, acting because this is my thing, you know. Um, so I think I reached to a point, you know, like after I had, so much stuff uh, in my resume, you know, I wanted to do my transition finally, which is what I always uh, dreamed of to, to break through Hollywood. Do you, is uh, Egyptian cinema and TV a whole lot different from America? Not really, not really, not at all. Don't forget that um, Egypt, uh, especially Egyptian cinema, has been there for almost uh, over 110 or 120 years. So we have like the, the oldest film festival in the region, uh, like, you know, uh, Cairo Film Festival, you know. And um, we, we always been, you know, the hub for all the sort of uh, uh, art in the whole region. And th that's why they call Egypt as Hollywood of the Middle East. Oh. So yeah, we were we, kind of, we we were pretty much related. That's why when I when I you know started from scratch over there being an actor, you know I thought like if I made it once, I think I can make it twice. You know what I mean? Like so that's why I I, I like took the you know the decision to go for it and go all in here. Well, that's that's a that's a great journey um, for you. So so can you tell us uh, what's next on the books for you, or is that? Uh, kept under wraps right now sure sure i uh i'm working on developing uh, uh different uh, feature films right now so one of them um that i'm really excited about it's an adventure uh horror film uh which i get to finally get some of my culture like which is the asian egyptian civilization so it's a it's it's about an egyptologist and it, it takes place here and in egypt so i get to shoot a lot of scenes in the actual real location, like Luxor and Aswan, uh, the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. So uh, I'm really excited about this uh, feature film because 
uh, not a lot of uh, these films are out there and a handful of films that when they came out on theaters, they, they did big and people loved them. So uh, I'm pretty much uh, happy that I'm bringing this sort of genre and sort of these feature films back. Uh, so hopefully this will be uh, one of the films that uh, I'll be in because uh, it's my story. So it feels so good that you have your story also you're you you're you're leading the, the film as well. Wow, well, that is terrific. I think you're doing a great job uh you know um not not falling into those stereotypes and make, making it uh, your own out here in Hollywood. I'm trying, man. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Hopefully that it works out really well. <laughs> I I'm certainly it will work out very well. I mean, after all, you you're one of the few people who got to uh, have all the scenes of the That's an accomplishment by itself. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, Gig. I appreciate it, man. Well, Mohammed, hey, thank you very much uh, for uh, talking to us. And uh, you know what? I look forward uh, to your next project, and hopefully we get to do this again. We'd love to. That would be my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you. Next time. Thank you.